One of the most frightening weapons of mass destruction in Mother Nature's arsenal is a volcano. There are thousands of volcanoes throughout the world that, if unleashed together, would absolutely spell doomsday for life on Earth. These flaming mountains are dormant most of the time, but when they do awaken from their slumber, they have the capacity to make the events of Pompeii repeat all over again. While this is terrifying to think about, volcanoes are incredibly interesting. Here are some facts about how they work. About 30 kilometers beneath your feet is the Earth's mantle. It is a region of super hot rock that extends down to the Earth's core. This region is so hot that molten rock can squeeze out and form giant bubbles of liquid rock called magma. This magma is lighter than the surrounding rock, so it rises up, finding cracks and weaknesses in the Earth's crust. When it finally reaches the Earth's surface, it erupts out of the ground as lava, ash, volcanic gas, and rocks. Most volcanoes have been around for thousands of years, but did you know that volcanoes can appear all of a sudden from the middle of nowhere? A volcano in Mexico named Peracutin is a perfect example that was born literally overnight. Those who witnessed its birth recall seeing lava lash out of the earth. But believe it or not, lava is not the worst thing you can expect out of a volcanic eruption. When a volcano goes rampant, it propels gases, rock fragments, and magma into the air. As a result, those unfortunate enough to get caught in the chaos have to deal with lava flows, hot ash, mudslides, and even steaming, falling ash and floods. As you can see, volcanoes are frightening enough as it is, but they can take terror to a whole new level by screaming just before exploding. The Redoubt Volcano in Alaska did exactly this before it erupted in 2009. Volcanic eruptions can produce spectacular lightning called dirty thunderstorms, and scientists are only now beginning to understand how volcanic lightning is formed. When volcanoes erupt, they spew out lava, so one would naturally think that this will result in an increase in temperature. But that's not the case. Volcanic eruptions actually cool the planet because these particles ejected from volcanoes shade incoming solar radiation. If a supervolcano were to erupt, it's possible that there would be enough ash in the atmosphere to cause a flash freeze across the globe. A volcano named Odeño Lengai in Tanzania spews out black lava. Black lava is nothing but carbonatite substance which looks similar to mud and is dark in color. The black lava is cooler than usual lava and its temperature can reach a maximum of 540 degrees Celsius. When this volcano erupts, the lava usually cools while in air and falls down in the form of glass shards. When we think of volcanoes, we think of mountains, and you might think that the peak of Mount Everest is the most distant point from the center of the Earth, but that's not true. Instead, it's the volcano Chimborazo in Ecuador. Volcanoes are not restricted to the Earth's surface. They also occur underwater. There are several underwater volcanoes that are active today. These volcanoes don't just form new islands, but are also notorious for triggering tsunamis. About 1,500 volcanoes on Earth are considered active and are likely to explode again. Each day, around 20 of these often steaming vents erupt in a variety of ways. Some ooze lava, while others explode violently. More than 80% of the Earth's surface above and below sea level has been formed due to volcanic eruptions. Igneous rocks, some of the oldest and hardest rocks on the planet, are formed when the hot magma from volcanoes cools down. Volcanic ash and pyroclastic flow can travel over 62 miles per hour, or 100 kilometers per hour, down the side of a volcano, while lava can reach 1,250 degrees Celsius and has the potential to burn everything in its path. These massive structures are some of nature's most fascinating and terrifying features. They represent the raw, unimaginable power that nature has. We can only hope that when they decide to show just what they're capable of, we are able to observe the display safely.